Now, dividing fractions. You must have first covered multiplying fractions because that's the skill we need most of all. There's only one extra step to dividing fractions. Let's first understand the concept. Write down the answer to this. 10 divided by 10. 10 divided by 10. Um, 10 divided by 5. 10 divided by 1. Okay. So don't be afraid to write it down. That's how you get things into your long-term memory, is to write them down on a piece of paper. you remember 40% of what you write down. Uh, how many 10s are in 10? There's one 10 in 10. How many 5s are in 10? How many $5 bills in $10? Well, there's two of them. How many $1 bills are in $10? Right? 10 of them, right? Easy. Okay. Well, how about this? 10 divided by a quarter. Write the answer down now. This is exactly the same as these ones. Okay. Uh, we need to understand something about division. Again, what division means is, you know, how many tens are contained in ten? There's one ten in ten. How many fives are in ten? There's two. How many ones are in ten? There's ten. How many quarters are in ten? How many quarters in ten dollars? Write down the answer. Well, let's think about it. I mean, there's four quarters in one dollar. So, in ten dollars, press pause. Forty? That's correct. Funny enough. So, how about this one? Ten divided by one half. If you had uh, uh, ten cups of sugar to put into a big cake, how many half cups would that be? How many half cups of sugar in 10 cups of sugar? Right? 10 divided by a half. Press pause. Write down the answer. It's 20, isn't it? Okay. Now, let's look at our procedure for dividing by fractions. Because we have a procedure. 10 divided by 5. Now, in the previous video, we, we discussed how 10 can be written 10 over 1, right? Um, 5 can be written 5 over 1. So if we change these to fractions, we have 10 over 1 divided by 5 over 1. Now the procedure for dividing by fractions is to get the reciprocal of the fraction on the right and multiply. So we do this, 10 over 1 multiplied by, and we flip this one upside down, 1 over 5. Right? Now multiplying uh, fractions, 10 times 1 is 10, over 1 times 5 is 5, 10 over 5 is 2. So, yes, 10 over 5 is definitely 2. But what we've shown with this is that the, this procedure of dividing fractions is true. When you flip the fraction on the right and multiply, that is correct. So let's explore that with 10 divided by 1 quarter. If we change 10 to a fraction, it can be written 10 over 1. So 10 over 1 divided by 1 quarter. Is the same as, uh, can be, it, this is the procedure for dividing fractions. You go 10 over 1, multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right, 4 over 1, right? Now that gives us 10 times 4, 40, over 1 times 1, 1. And 40 over 1 is how many 1's in 40? 40, right? And we proved over here. 10 divided by a quarter is 40 when we thought about it. And now we have also proved the procedure for dividing by fractions, which is to flip this fraction on the right and multiply. So if you had, for example, 2 sevenths divided by... 3 fourteenths, all you've got to do is go 2 over 7 multiplied by, flip the fraction on the right, 14 over 3, and now multiply the fractions. And of course, we can cross cancel. 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 14 goes twice. So that gives us 2 times 2 is 4, over 1 times 3 is 3, 4 thirds. So how about this? If you had a over B divided by C over D. What would that be? <coughs> A, B, C, and D represent numbers. 
Well, it would be the first fraction, A over B, multiplied by, and what do we do with this fraction? Get the reciprocal, D over C, and multiply. So we just flip this fraction upside down, multiply, and that becomes A times D over B times C, right? Okay, how about mixed numbers? One and one quarter divided by two and three eighths. Well, dividing makes numbers, you might want to change them to improper fractions to begin with, right? Four times one is four, plus one, five. So we go, you know, four times one plus one, that's five over four. So we get five over four divided by eight times two plus three over eight, which is 16 plus three, 19 over eight. And when we're dividing fractions, we flip the fraction on the right and multiply. So five fourths multiplied by eight. Let's see if you've learned your lesson. Two and three fifths divided by one and one tenth. So press pause and calculate that. So again, first of all, got to change them to improper fractions. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3, 13. So that's 13 fifths. Divided by 1 times 10 is 10, plus 1 all over 10. That's 10 plus 1, 11 tenths. So that's 13 over 5, and this is the fraction we flip. The one on the right, not the one on the left. That's a common mistake. You always flip the fraction on the right. Multiplied by 10 over 11. And we can cross cancel. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into that goes twice. 13 times 2, 26. 1 times 11, 11. So 26 over 11 is the improper fraction. As a mixed number, 11 into that goes twice. Remainder, well, that's 22, so remainder 4, right? So twice and 4 elevenths.